Well, hello, glorious people of the interwebs, and welcome back to Planet Zoo. In the previous live stream, we started our lion enclosure with the 4x4 adventure tour going through it. And today we're going to be completing the enclosure. We're going to breed be breeding more lions for some like perfect genetic lions and completing our 4x4 adventure tour with facilities and stuff all built in around it. So this is going to be pretty awesome looking. We've got this adventure tour that goes down under this platform here. It goes through a little bit of our lion enclosure, which you can see the, the main area here where the majority of the lions hang out with Pride Rock. And then it goes under here and comes out here. And we're going to have a massive area with a ton of herbivores in it. And um, probably even more elephants and stuff like that too to go through there with the adventure tour. And we're going to get this complete. I won't be able to make all of this today, but I love the way this looks. I'm really getting into not using actual barriers and making these rock walls and stuff like that. Uh, for viewers, I like how the trees come out of the rocks and, and kind of like look like they're growing through it. It looks really nice. But I do hope you all enjoy this episode. If you do, feel free to fondle that like button, whisper sweet nothings to it, smack it around a little bit, show it some love. And let's get into this. Now, first things first, I want to work on the adventure tour. There are some things that we need to adjust and kind of just make, I guess, some pretty... If Ooh, I didn't know these rot here. I was really hoping that the lions would get up here. This is actually a traversable area. If you click on this particular lion right here... Look how adorable it is! Ah, oh, it's so pretty. I absolutely love them. I'm going to try and get around like 20 female lions. Just an absolute harem of female lions and one male. And um, I'm, I'm really excited about this. But yeah, if we click on here, we go into this menu. We can go to uh, Habitat. And you can see that this is actually traversable for them to be able to get up onto Pride Rock and eat this. But they have not done it yet. Uh, so that's something that we're going to have to mess around with and see if we can make happen. If you double click on here, just want them want to reset this bad boy. Got to figure it out. I don't know why I can't click it for some reason. All right, so things are looking... Oh, low welfare on the giant tortoises! <gasps> What's going on, little tortoise? Last meal quality. Hydration... You got water right here, home skillet. What are you doing? Get it. It's a race before he dies. You can do it. I believe in you, little baby tortoise. We got some babies here. Um, oh, we got three babies here. Come on, you can do it, little guy. If you want to name any of our giant tortoises, feel free to leave some name recommendations in the comments below. Victory is Latif's. Drink, little baby, drink. I should probably put some more water stations in just to be safe. There we go. Now we're good. Just in time for the inspector. Um, but yeah, we've done... Oh, look at the little baby run. It's adorable. It looks like they're playing. Um, but I decorated our waterfall a little bit. It's still not complete. Uh, I need to add some rocks and try and figure out what I'm going to do on this side. Um, I'm going to bring this up into the air and then we're going to start figuring out what to do here. I kind of want to make like a, a building that goes inside of this rock face a little bit and make it kind of like a hangout area for some food courts and stuff like that. We'll see what we can build. Things are looking good. <gasps> are they going to go up to Pride Rock? They were so close! You could have gone up and believed in you! I think I need to make it a little less steep or make it... Maybe I need to take this out and just kind of build it with... Um with actual terrain, maybe that'll work. Okay, we ended up building quite a bit more than I anticipated before bringing it back. Uh, but I actually really like this new style and I might redo some of the buildings to kind of uh, take on this a little bit. Uh, there's some changes that I still wanna do, but we gotta add a whole bunch of plants to this and make it look pretty. What I want to do is I want to add a little, like, courtyard in the back. Uh, maybe, like, an eating area with some benches and stuff like that. And then they can walk under this, and I need to make a platform with the entry and exit cues um, for the 4x4 Adventure Tour. But all in all, things are looking pretty good. Now, I'm thinking up here, there's a planter in here that I really like, and for some reason I keep losing it. 
And I should probably just... There it is. So it's a classic planter. And I don't know if it quite fits. But at least it snaps the center, so then I know for a fact my window is not centered. So that's good, I suppose. Uh, so let's put that in there. And then I can put all sorts of plants in here, which I think would look really nice. And then I can fix... Excuse me! That's not where a planter goes at all! Of course, the other ones want to snap, and this one does not. We'll just pretend like it's uh, centered. It needs to go below the window. Or I can bring the window up a little bit. Oh my god, they're crooked. <laughs> what a disaster! Oh my god. I was wondering why things were looking... funky. But anyways, we gotta finish this building. I gotta... I wanna put another... basically copy this entire thing and put it on this side. And then decorate it all nice. And then we need all sorts of baby lions. I want, like, 30 females in here. We need. I need to actually hit play and just let them breed. So I'm actually really liking the way this is turning out. I ended up just duplicating the build that we did and then swapped it onto the other side. And then we just got to kind of close up the one side that we duplicated here on the end. And then we got to encapsulate our little station area. Make that look good. Why is this on a different snap point? How dare you vex me like this? I guess I'll have to build <laughs> to build something specifically for that. Uh, but I want to build like an archway here and then kind of blend it into the buildings and then maybe put some archways up top and then kind of duplicate the style on this side with all of our queue system built in. I think it's going to end up looking really nice. We got to get some windows over here. Otherwise, it's looking pretty darn close to what I want. All right, so a couple things have changed. We actually did a little bit of a live stream in between uh, the recording of this and was able to get uh, a lot of this completed. Unfortunately, there's still trash everywhere. I put there, I put down trash cans, but nobody seems to really be using them. Uh, but we finished our little area here. I still do want to decorate this all with plants. Um, but you are able to actually get up in to the, um, into the ride. I guess we'll call it a ride. Into the, the 4x4 adventure tour. You can get up through here and to get into the ride. And we've added quite a few things. I still need to decorate around here. I want to get this little courtyard built. Um, but the stairways and everything look pretty good. We need some decorations and stuff around here just to give it that little extra something something, I suppose. Uh, we've got a couple lions. We got some new babies, too. We got two new babies over here. So we're slowly growing our, um, our lion pride. It's amazing. Now, we also expanded and we started working on our next enclosure. So as I mentioned, I wanted to make this whole, like, massive safari adventure thing. And this is actually a uh, giraffe enclosure that somebody built and was on the, um, the Steam Workshop. And I really liked the look of it. And I wanted to see if I could incorporate it into this build somehow. So this is actually, I, I took, I, I modified it quite a bit and was able to get the 4x4 adventure tour to go right through... Um, uh, the giraffe enclosure. And then we've even got a bridge under this, or basically, it, it is a bridge. And the smaller animals can walk through here to get the hard shelter and be able to cross into the giraffe enclosure, but the giraffes aren't able to get into here. So we're kind of able to keep the giraffes in one area while allowing all the other smaller animals to be able to cross in and out, um into the two different habitats, which is cool. Although it is technically all one large one. And then we got to build, basically we got a pathway going here. I got to change this pathway into wood. Um, I got to add some pillars here to make this look a little bit better. Uh, but this enclosure just looks so good. And I felt like I definitely needed to find a place for it. We got some changes to do here. Although I kind of want to make a bridge that goes across to here and allow people to walk from here into the enclosure. So I haven't decided if I'm going to keep that or not. Um, but our drafts are looking fine. We got one in here right now and we got to add some more. I think this is actually a rather small... It is a very, very small draft. Uh, so these can get quite a bit bigger. But I'm thinking about maybe bringing up the ground here just a tad. Um, we got a lot of work to do, but everything is looking really nice. The zoo is definitely coming along. I just love 
uh, the look of it when we go through the entrance now, especially once we get some more buildings and everything. Uh, happiness is really good. I just restarted the game, and every time we restart the game, our happiness, hunger, thirst, and energy goes down. Um, and we should have five stars here very soon, too, which is really, really nice. So I've decided to give this bridge a shot. I need to make sure that the giraffes can actually walk under it. Um, and also, I need to figure out if it can actually attach to this handy-dandy bridge here. I think we need to get about a size 8 because we snapped to a 4x4 four four grid. And if we do a little bit of this, can we get it on here? Uh, I don't know if it's going to work. What's if we try and do... Oh, oh, oh! Well, fancy that. Now we just need to hit play here. And hook onto that little giraffe there. And let's check... Habitat? Come on, baby. Okay, so at least with that giraffe, this is all traversable terrain. Looks like we got a little sketchy clip. Uh, maybe we don't have a clip there. But that is actually really, 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 really super duper cool. The question will be, once we get some bigger drafts in here, if it's still going to work. Um, but I want to make this look a little bit better. we got to delete some of the rocks here. We're getting really fancy with this zoo. Like, the more I play, the better and better the enclosures keep getting. And I really like this new system, where instead of using the actual barriers that are provided in the game... We just use these rock walls, or we can even make our own barriers rather than using them. Oh, thank you for pooping. You walked into my field of view and then pooped, you dirty little... Dirty little thing. Okay, so that that giraffe is quite a bit bigger. And its head... Its head hits. Okay, how tall are you, home skillet? You're only 58%. Alright, we're gonna have to dig down here a little bit, I think. Because we're gonna have giraffe heads inside of this at some point. Um, but yeah, definitely let me know what you guys think of this habitat in the comments below. We got a lot of work still to do. I got to add water, food sources, all of that fun stuff still. Sweet baby Jesus. That was a lot of decorating. So we've got uh, a nice little river through here with a little pond at the end that we've got one of our nice little giraffes actually taking a drink out of right now. God, I love just how good all the animals look in this game. They did such a magnificent job with it. And, of course, we've got our 4x4 empty right here. Um, but I do believe we've got this just about where we need it. Uh, I still want to decorate more with plants, but I need to get all the animals in here and make sure I can balance everything out. Um, coverage is only at 16%. I think we should be good with just about anything else. We need enrichment. Uh, we need a whole bunch of food. Now, keepers can get in here. The problem is this is an absolutely massive enclosure. So I'm debating maybe splitting this up into two. I don't really know. Basically, what I can do is I can put a barrier through here. And cut it through here and have it a null barrier so the animals can still cross through if they want. Um, but I can put a second entrance on here. But I don't know. Things are... I, I, this is kind of what I want to do with the rocks is get this nettle put in. Some flowers and stuff like that. Um, I've got to get a walkway through here. i got to get rid of this here water filtration system and get it moved to a different location. What I might do is set up a secondary staff facility over here. But right now what I want to do... I want to get animals in this particular area. So this is going to be literally just everything. We're going to put ostriches, warthogs, uh, basically anything that can go together. I'm even going to put zebras in here. Whatever extra zebras we have are going to go in this particular location. And spring up box, finally, spring buck, finally getting put into the zoo. Uh, so let's do that now. I'm just going to get all of these animals in and hopefully we can balance everything out and keep the... Enclosure clean, and no terrible things will happen. Wish me luck. Well, it's about time we showed exactly what this looks like when we're riding on the adventure tour. We got our friends here. We got uh, Chum Chum, and I don't know what her name is. Belly Shirt? That's, that's your new name. Uh, but this thing is really cool. Going into the lion enclosure... 
We can see a group of female lions, the baby. Oh, and we had a male lion actually going up on the Pride Rock there for a second. And we go through this nice cave, which I have to decorate. I want to put some, like, logs and um, rocks and just some maybe ivy and stuff coming down the walls. A fog machine might make it look really good, too. And then we start coming up. And we'll be going right along the massive savanna enclosure. We get to look at all the people, too. I mean, people watching is a pretty big thing. And we can see on both sides uh, of the enclosure here. Look at all those people. Oh, my goodness. Everybody is going to this enclosure now. And then when the giraffes come in and eat, which they do quite often once that's filled up, you'll be able to see them eating inside of their little um, a hard shelter. And then since this is their main drinking source over here, they're pretty much hanging out in this little corner the majority of the time. Although I've got a couple new giraffes arriving in the zoo very soon. You gonna rub up against the pillar? Do it! I've never seen them rub up against the pillar before. Do it! Do it! You teasing me like this? Oh, I think it's doing it. Kind of doing it. And then we got another cave that still needs a little bit of decorating. And then once we come out of here, we need to have a couple more enclosures. Uh, so this is going to have a pretty good view of a lot of the different stuff going on in the park. Uh, out here I want to have um, lemurs and mandrels and stuff like that. So I'll probably have two, maybe three pens uh, along this straight line here. And then I don't even know what's going to go out there yet. Now we've got a lot of stuff that we still need to get inside of the zoo. we got Bengal tigers. And then we still got the full release coming out very soon. But... That was pretty much the entire adventure tour. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I've had a lot of fun building this. The zoo is really, really coming along. Um, I've got to figure out what enclosure I want to put here. So definitely make sure to leave some comments down below on what enclosures you want to see next. we got to slowly fill this up with new animals. I mean, obviously, they'll be breeding and stuff, too. Um, we'll have lots of babies. This will be definitely a major attractor. Uh, but make sure to follow that like button if you did enjoy the episode and like the enclosures. And I'll see you all in the next one. Look at this little zebra taking a nap.